This video explains some very important details and shows how to correctly perform an upgrade from Simplify Me Server V4 or V5 to the new Simplify Server V6. First and foremost, it's highly recommended that you perform a migration upgrade. That's when you install the new version onto a new machine with a fresh operating system, and not on the same machine where the old version of the software is installed. This is recommended for two reasons. First, V6 is not 100% backwards compatible, and won't import your Windows users and your scripts. Second, by leaving the old software untouched, you can easily go back to the previous version should anything happen during the upgrade process. As you can see in this video, your migration upgrade begins by installing the new V6 onto any supported fresh operating system. The installation shown in this first part of the video is absolutely identical to a full setup of a standalone Simplify Server V6. Double click on the installer, click next and then finish, and wait for the software to be deployed for you. Once the installer is done it shows you a link, click on it to continue the setup in your browser. At first the software uses a self-signed certificate, you can change it later but for now it's safe to accept the security exception. When upgrading, always choose the Setup as Standalone option. Select a node name or let the software pick one for you. Then select your first super admin password and provide an email that can be used for recovery purposes. At this point you can enable two-factor authentication, but it's safe to skip this for now, you can always enable it at a later time. Now log into the Super Admin UI using the newly created Super Admin account. If this was a new install, now you'd be creating your first virtual site, but this is a migration upgrade, so we need to restore the configuration from a backup you took from your old V4 or V5. Simply select your V4 or V5 backup file, and upload it to your new V6 right here. The software will warn you that this restore operation will overwrite any configuration you may already have, but this is a fresh install so you can safely proceed. A notification at the bottom will inform you that the restore operation has succeeded. Click on virtual sites in the menu, and there you go, your old virtual site has now been restored to your new Simplify Server V6. Depending on what was in the backup, you may need to create an administrator profile for this virtual site. Once you have done so, you can log into this virtual site's admin UI and verify that it was imported correctly. Now log into the admin UI. All of your virtual file systems, users, configurations, and so on, are all there, with the exception of unsupported objects like operating system users and your old scripts. As always, before decommissioning your old V4 or V5, verify that your new V6 works well and does everything you need. Thank you, and goodbye for now.